Hey, how's it going, everyone? How are you guys doing tonight? Today, we are filming this beautiful wood. All right, so man, I got a beer from Fort George Brewery out of Astoria, Oregon. Uh, they're just right over the bridge from me. I'm south of them. Uh, actually, used to live north of them about a block. It was really cool to go there and uh, have some grub and some beers and listen to music on Sunday nights for free. It was really cool. Nice bluegrass music. Hell yeah. If you like that kind of thing, and I do. Um... So this is a this is one that they do every year. It's different. It's a collaboration beer, and this is a collab with two very well known breweries as well, such as Anchorage Brewing Company and Cellar Maker. So I'm very happy to introduce you to two way. Excuse me, three way, three way. <laughs> three-way and uh, this is their new one they also have a purple can I don't know if it tastes different or what but it, they have a different color can so I might have to go get that one just to see but this is a what seven percent I believe hazy IPA uh, technically you could call it a New England um, but uh, you know on the west they kind of tend to Go more bitter, a little more hay, like in the hazy haze, but not so sweet and dank and, or like not sweet and not dank, it's definitely dank. Sweet and like thicker and smoother and creamier on in the Northeast, where over here they're a little more, a little more lighter, a little more bitter, a little, but very juice balmy, still hazy. Um, but I have seen some companies put out some New England style hazy IPAs over here as well. So, um, such as Fort George and uh, Anchorage and, uh, so, and, and several others. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is a... So, the, the artwork from these guys was from Patrick Long Design Plasm. Um, yeah, so it's got fish. Okay, I was looking for the, oh, it's a 7% hazy IPA. They classify this as a hazy. Last I poured, it looked more of a chill haze kind of ch haziness, but I, I'm going to see if there's sediment on the bottom just to see if maybe that might have, might help it out a little bit. I'm not sure, but this was canned like within the month. I believe. 522. Uh, yeah, so just about three weeks, pushing a month. Let's pour it. Oh yeah, th no, this is definitely more more than a chill haze. I, I might have been drunk when I was looking at, when I drank it the other night. <laughs> hey, let me tap my glass. Cause we got dirty, dirty glass mafia. Yeah, and this is a see. This looks more. It's murky, but it's got a. It does have kind of a milkiness in this area, and then in the reservoir of the glass, it gets a little lighter. You can kind of see through it a little more, but it's, it's definitely not. It's definitely opaque still. It looks like orange juice, def like a like a tang or something like. Well, maybe a little lighter than that. More of a milkier orange juice, like a light orange juice. Um, the head, it, it's definitely carbonated, but I'm not getting a head, but it is keeping kind of a rim. Uh, so the retention, if I was to twirl this up, it would probably bring that foam back up again. I'm just not gonna twirl it this high in the glass. So I need to leave some room in, for my nose right here. Uh, let's get into the nose here, cheers. This is straight up like guava passion fruit, a little bit of papaya. Guava though and passion fruit are like very big. Passion fruit mainly, I think. Kind of that um, meteor tropical fruit, like that of mango. I'm also getting a little mango and pineapple. Definitely tropical, fruity, very fruit balmy. You can get that stanky, footy, 
rich fruit. That's very cool. That smells really good. You get some orange in there. You get some uh, orange and nectarine kind of thing. Stone fruity, orange, citrus. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Let's drink this. Cheers. We got a um, kind of a low carbonation. Ooh, that's like a, I get like a really, like a real big grip of like passion fruit, guava, and great and pink grapefruit. Huge grapefruit, great uh, pink grapefruit. Kind of that uh, tart, sour, grapefruity kind of, like the pink grapefruit's a little sweeter. There's a little sweetness in the green pink compared to the white grapefruit. And then you're mixing that in with papaya, guava, you know, um, passion fruit. Citrusy, kind of a slight nectarine. There's a little bit of tangerine, kind of more sour orange. Really goes up. It's very resinous and oily with the citrus. With that grapefruit and then that little nice meaty kind of tropical fruit uh, ringing around the, the, the outer edge of it all. Goes back. It's got a little bit of a grassy in the finish. Slightly. I get a little bit of even like a uh, grapefruit carrot juice kind of thing or something like that. Like freshly ground, uh, um, you know, where you put the carrots to the osterizer, kind of something like that with a little grapefruit pinch. And then um, not like DMS y or uh, not an off flavor, or, uh, you know, like, yeah, well, that's more like, uh, what, like pumpkin y kind of thing. No, this is nice. This is, um, this is very, this is very interesting and very good and different. And I like the difference in it. That's what I, I think the best thing is, is the fact that it's so different. I love tasting these hazies and these New Englands, these whatevers, and they, they all have a different approach to them. Um, I've made a few myself, and they even have different approaches to them, depending on what hops you put on them, how, you, how, you mash, how hot you mash in, uh, how long you boil, this, that, whatever, what your fermentations are, your temps, your yeast you're using, your hops, whatever. It's, it's, all, it's all varied on, on that, so... Nice medium carbonation. It's somewhat soft, but also has a spritziness in the mouthfeel. The body is medium. Alcohol is very unnoticeable. I'm really digging this. I'm getting a little, I get a little bit of celery. That, and and you would think like DMS, dimethyl sulfite, sulfate sulfite. I, I forget the fucking S word. Um, but that uh, like 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 a little bit of celery pumpkin, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's there, maybe it's not. But I don't think it's an off flavor. I think it's the guava and the passion fruit and the um, and just like a lot of that tropical meaty uh, um, thing. And then with the mixed with the pink grapefruit, it's 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 putting off that idea that oh that's there. But uh, I don't think it's just I don't know. It's good. It, it's this is really good actually. It's very good. It's very tasty. It's got a nice feel f to it, and it goes down very smooth. It's very drinkable. Out of uh, 10 hops, I would, I would give this like 9.2 hops. Definitely. It's very good. Very good beer. So, all right. Well, uh, there you go. Uh, I sent one of these off to Eric, so hopefully we'll see some similar results. Um, if he wants to review, we can review together. I've got another one left, so let me know. That would be Eric with Thomas Metal 75. He does Wild Card Wednesdays at 4, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 my time every Wednesday. So go check him out. Well, you guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world, but not after one more sip. Mm, good stuff. Cheers.